Hey guys, what's up? It's Vahin here. So today, I'm going to be giving a tour of my new operating system, which is, you might be thinking about Mac OS, but it is not. This is not Mac OS. This is my new Ubuntu 17.10. But some people would think that this is actually Mac, but it is not. It's not Mac. So I'm going to give a tour on my new Ubuntu, which I made it look like as Mac OS X, which I'm going to be calling Macbuntu. So let's get started. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you what all have been changed here and show you how it's done, what I did. Only some parts, not the whole thing. Okay, so let's get started. All right, now this is my desktop. These are my files. As you can see, documents, music downloads desktop java programming which i program java inside it and here comes the best part this is my new terminal which i edited and but um i don't know how i did this because i forgot it it was a long time ago since i installed this so i can't i may not able to define this or which maybe you can say as like I can't explain how I edit it but anyways I can do I can see and you also can watch also I'm gonna show you my new spotlight search which I can search anything like my files as you can see I don't know why it's showing too and my Ubuntu software and also here's how I do it so what I first do is I have to install this tweaks genome tweaks which you can find in the Ubuntu software alright now see what I done first so the first step is I change the background oops sorry I changed the background which yeah so see I changed my background into this background for my lock screen and also my background so I did this by searching on my web browser Firefox which is right here I searched Mac wallpapers oops I mean papers okay now I came across something which is this which I'm using right now okay so that's I did as you can see also then I positioned my dock to bottom alright now here comes the part which I changed this into holy Mac so first I did is once again I opened my browser like this then I searched for extensions dot genome dot org okay as you can see now what did I do here is I searched for dash to dot which is right here and then here is a switch which will show off and on I mean a switch probably and now then I open this which made my um, the dock look like this as you can see here then but if you didn't install the extensions which is right here 
called the genome shell extensions you have to install that then once you have done that you have to open your tweak like this and just wait and wait till it opens then you go to the extensions and you will see one option called the user themes you have to turn this on and then you have to oops oh no my dock okay as I was saying you have to turn on that user themes and then you have to on this switch which is just like a fire you have to punch it on the screen up and then oops sorry for being rude <laughs> but s no worries then after you have done you have to click I mean right click on here I mean the show applications button then dash to dock and then you'll see the screen so now you might be wondering that how I changed the show applications from right side to left side you might be wondering well as you know I mean you may not know but you have to go to the appearance oh sorry I mean the launcher then you have to check this button which is called the move the applications button at the beginning of the talk oh my docky oh sorry and now <coughs> then after you have done that you have to click shrink the dash which will make it more neat and then you can customize the dash I mean dash color or so the dock color then you have to customize opacity I choose to fixed but uh, default will be default only uh -huh. what's a dog okay you have to fix you have to set it fixed then the upper city will be hundred percent and now I will recommend you the color to be I mean your dash color should be this or this this one which I'm hovering with my mouse see which I just now checked that one as you can see it looks like Mac all right now you might be wondering how I shifted the close minimize and maximize button from right side to left side because this Ubuntu 17.10 oops sorry for shouting but by the way you have to s search for tweaks then once you have done that you have to go to top bar I mean oops, what am I doing on earth mm, I'm not a pro on this. <laughs> Sorry. okay as I as you see you have to go to the windows tab then you have to scroll all the way down then you have to you must see this thing called the placement and you see some two options right left and right the default will be at right <laughs> then if you want it to be like map you have to shift it to left by clicking this left button alright once you have done that now you need to install the themes which I'm going to do it now alright one second all right now here I'll be keeping these commands in the description section below for the theme icons and cursors and for the spotlight which I'm using which is called the Albert spotlight okay now I'm gonna show you how to put this theme on your computer which is how to use it so I'm gonna be showing you that today itself alright you have to open your tweet tool again which is the most important thing in the whole universe Heh, nothing so as you have done that now go to the desktops oops what did I go to the desktop I'm the stupidest thing okay you have to go to this appearance 
then for the application you have to choose Mac Ubuntu which will be here after you install them with the commands on your terminal then the cursor you have to show I mean choose this Mac Ubuntu OS X cursors like this you can you can make it like this like this only these two options but you can choose whatever you like I am prefer this Mac Ubuntu OS X cursors and now my icons this Mac Ubuntu OS I mean there are gonna be maybe like four options you have to choose Mac Ubuntu OS and you may get this option shell you have to select Mac Ubuntu like the default because if you choose Mac Ubuntu NT it will become like here see it will become blackish tape if you select to Mac Ubuntu this logo will come and everything will be normal so you have to copy this once you have done that you have to close maybe and then now I'm going to show you how to set up the Albert Spotlight which is the alternative to uh, Mac Spotlight but by the way if you turn on the desktop you'll see this on your left hand side but don't worry you don't need you don't need to be worried about that isn't it <laughs> okay now once you have I mean okay now you have to open I mean once you have installed the Albert spot light then open it Albert Spotlight here as you can see then once you have clicked it you may see an icon on top uh, here somewhere but let's just say you see it then after I mean after some time you may see an icon like purplish type then you will click it <coughs> then you will see that bar then you will get maybe this pop up which you can see here and then you will then you have to set a hotkey which is a shortcut to open the spotlight I'm using control plus space but if you want to set your own you have to press this button then once you click it you'll get a question mark like this then you have to um, put a con enter the combination I mean enter the combination once it's not working because I already my is already done mine's won't close Oi, what the hell mine's won't close what kind of world is this I'm getting out oh ho what in the earth is going on why isn't this working this isn't working okay okay now it worked okay it worked hey what the it's it's correct only what the hell I'm out of here hot kid is invalid what kind of problem is this? Alright, sorry for that big time waste of your life. Sorry for this. <laughs> but anyways, then you have to end I mean you have to use a combination which you have just entered. Then you will get this. The spotlight. By the way, sorry for being shouting. I mean shouting. Then that's it. Also, <coughs> the last but not least, <coughs> in the terminal, you have to edit like mines or just set the background white color and text or the also known as the commands to black color. 
Um, that was a big one. But, anyways, guys, thank you all for watching my video. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Also, see you soon. Also, please subscribe to my channel. And if you enjoyed and got how to turn your Mac, I, I mean, your Linux Ubuntu to Mac Ubuntu. Be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. That red color rectangle box thingy. <laughs> also, if you like this, please comment comment down below and also share this with all of your social networks or social media also thank you all guys once again for watching my video more videos are coming soon be sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos and be sure to check out my full channel and be sure to watch every single of my videos okay thank you all guys bye